Tonight, Florida's election supervisors are sounding an alarm, warning there could be election chaos this November if the governor doesn't act quickly. Eight on your side, political reporter Evan Donovan joining us now live from a polling location in South Tampa. Hey, good evening to you, Keith. Uh Craig Latimer, the Hillsborough County election supervisor, is now the president of all 67 of the state's election supervisors. He says they learned a lot in the March presidential primary, and there's fear now that if Governor DeSantis doesn't act right now, we could be in for yet another Florida election debacle. We're, we're pushing vote by mail uh, quite heavy. In the last two general elections, nearly a third of Florida's 14 million voters sent in a ballot by mail. Based on Hillsborough County's numbers during the March presidential primary, coronavirus will push that number even higher in the upcoming elections. Over 50% of the people that voted, voted by mail. We normally vote a third mail. Florida's bipartisan election supervisors want to be prepared for those extra mail ballots. They also want longer early voting periods open through election day and the ability to add or consolidate polling places. We've got sites right now that we can't get in contact with. We've emailed them, we've called them, they're closed. Eight on your side took election supervisors recommendations straight to the governor's office. What is the governor's response to the supervisors of elections requests? Eight on your side also asked whether voting by mail leads to fraud. There has been cases, uh, and then tell you they're few and few and far between. President Trump claims it's ripe for fraud despite voting by mail himself. I won't stand for it. But Florida Democrats want proof. And I remember asking the question on the floor of the House what is the evidence of this fraud that you are citing to us? And no one could provide us with the evidence. And I think it's simply because it doesn't exist. Latimer says that Florida is also one of only three states that has not yet applied for the federal funding Congress allocated specifically for elections after coronavirus hit. That's $20 million from the feds. Florida only has to put up $4 million of the state money. So far, the state has not yet done that, despite holding several billion dollars in reserves. Live in South Tampa, Evan Donovan, 8 on your side.